Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some RimWorld Fort Ranchos. My name is Sean and when we left off we had just beaten off a bunch of, uh, we had just fought off, it's probably a better way of saying that, uh, we had just fought off a bunch of uh, tribal raiders. Look at all of them laying dead on the ground there. Every one of them with a toque. Beautiful hand-sewn toque, tribal toque from the uh, whatever uh, camp cambire cambire of the crag uh, from those guys and we have a bunch of prisoners that we are going to want to set free now did, uh, did I already go through and do all this looks like I did they are set to release and I think we've already released one of them should be wander oh there we go we are letting them go right now that'll get us to where they are uh, set up to be friends with us or, or hopefully we can bribe them to be friends with us. There we go. I knew I was working on something like that. Now, um, between episodes, a couple of you came in and suggested that I should um, try leaving some of these doors held open that would maybe encourage our next raiders to just walk through these doors instead of going around and beating up on the entire wall as they try to do that and you know what <clears throat> i'm gonna give that a shot i will open these up and we'll see what happens oh look at that i forgot to repair that or i forgot to replace that to, oh it's in the process of being built huh well i'm gonna cancel that i don't like having instructions like that left unfinished it seems like that might upset the game so anyways we're gonna leave these doors open and then next time the raiders can just wander right into here and start attacking <gasps> Our solar panels, and maybe that'll speed up some of our fights. We won't have to sit there and wait forever as they bang against the uh, bang against the walls all around and kind of waste a bunch of time doing that sort of thing. Boy, that was an extra noisy drink of water there. So I am sorry if you had to listen to that. Probably sounded just awful. Hmm. I want to clean out the instructions that I have set up in here. There we go, just like that. How are we doing on our various resources? I feel like steel was something we were not very heavy on. That's why we stopped building this up. Um, we have lots of food, so you know what? I'm going to set up the thing to build more hydroponics bays and start building some hydroponic base, which I will fill with non um, non food items like smoke leaf, perhaps, or perhaps some of the other stuff that we like to grow. Um, I want to. Ah, that's not what really what I wanted to do. What to do is that. Turn you back like that. There we go. Beautiful, just like that. Oh, so I could put additional. Uh, Cold snap. Well, cold snap doesn't bother me. Ah, cold snap. Just like that. Yeah. Uh, all of our stuff is uh, done growing, except for apparently a little bit of um, smoke leaf around there, which we can't really do much about. And then some uh, hay grass over here. Let's see if we can harvest that off. We'll never do plant cutting. Oh, I would never. Oh, I never. Never plant cut. Are you kidding me? Uh, we have heat set up in there. All right, let's uh, set you to, to do that. We'll never do plant cutting. Oh, right, well, I just got done making a big kind of a joker about that sort of a thing. Pig of War? Um, oh, I probably just told you to do that. How about you, Yang? Why don't you cut that up, please? Let's see if we can salvage those before they get destroyed by the cold, cold weather. And I gotta remember, they will only do one thing and then they'll go home. So I need to do a little bit of micromanaging here to finish that off real quick. Pig of War, don't run back home so soon. Yang, what are you doing? Try cutting that hay grass. Pig ore, 
Get that smoke leaf also. I don't know why Challenge is taking a sweet time to cut his thing. He must be a lower skilled uh, grower, I guess. Wow, it's really taking him a long time. What is up with you, Challenge? Are you like missing missing your arms or something? Weird. Oh no! Oh no! Your eye has got a scar on it. Shit. Well, that means that you are have lost your shooting accuracy considerably. That is really too bad, because I feel like you are a pretty high-level shooter, and now you are not as useful as you used to be. That is too bad. I need to change you and knock you straight down to a old, to an H-level shooter, and you probably shouldn't even be doing that, to be honest, because 90% accuracy, you get 10 squares out, and you're looking at... Uh, like 30% or 20% chance to hit, you're looking at just terrible odds. Uh, so that's really too bad. Um, what do we have here? A bunch of neutromine. Interesting. I had a bunch of neutromine fall on me in uh, my stream that I did today, which is also where I had somebody get their eye scarred up. So that's what made me think of that. Um, if, uh, if you were there to watch the stream, thank you so much for watching. A lot of regular viewers were there. It was really nice. And uh, it was fun. I had a good time. Uh, and if you weren't there, well, I'll be streaming again on Saturday. So that is tomorrow if you watch this the day that it comes out. So come on by and watch the stream. We have a good time there. I answer all the comments in the, uh, well, not all of them, but most of the comments down in the comment section. Which was something that people watching also seem to enjoy. Greenhagen, you took a very long route to get over here to take that thing out. And Lion, you're taking a really long time to leave. Now, why have I not released more of you guys? Didn't I release... I could have swore we released somebody very early on. You guys are set to be released, right? Yes. Yes. Weird. Lion's just taking a sweet time. There we go. Uh, Thrombo self-tamed. What the? That's one of those things that you don't think ever actually happens. Every time I see that on a, um, every time somebody shows that on a screenshot in, in the subreddit, I'm like, what a bunch of hooey. That didn't actually happen. That's just something that happens with, um, you use dev mode to do that, but... Sure enough, our Thrombo self-teamed. Now, you can train these guys to haul. Interesting. Did not know that. But Thrombos eat a lot, a lot of food. And I don't want this guy going around eating our food. Hmm. I could have him set to just wander around. They... Huh. I could have him set to just wander around the exterior of our uh, land here, but I'm worried that he's going to get in and like eat all my Devil Strand. They do love to eat Devil Strand, among other things. Um, so I probably ought to uh, just go ahead and slaughter it, which seems like a real, real shame to kill off a Thrumbo. Uh, but it is definitely a white elephant. Almost literally a white elephant, because it's white and it's huge. Um, but it's not really going to provide me any good. I don't think it... Uh, I don't even think you get any uh, any like fur off of it or anything. Um, does it... Uh, you get a lot of meat. And some leather. Yeah, I don't see anything about fur, though. Um... I think it's. I think you need a mod to be able to uh, collect thrombo wool or whatever, like you do with uh, all the other animals. Like we're getting off of our dromedaries and whatnot. Uh, so I am so sorry to everybody who's watching that we're not going to keep this thrombo around because you're probably really excited for me. Um, 
but I am going to kill him as soon as he gets into our little safe area there. Animals, slaughter. How do I close that thing down? I do want to watch it die. Kind of tempted to make that the... Yeah, look at that. How much of this food is he going to eat? Oh, infestation. Where? Oh, is it too cold? It's too cold for an infestation. Look at that. Minus seven. Saved by the bell. It uh, says that it was going to occur, but it doesn't. There it is. Chowing down on more food, maybe? No, I guess not. Sorry, Thrombo. Too bad you uh, don't... Uh, don't bring about any goodies, because I wouldn't mind not killing you. But as we as it is, I am going to kill you, and then we're going to make you into lunch. All right. Um, I've got these new things under construction here. I need to make sure that I set them to not be potatoes. Do not plant potatoes there, please. We'll plant cotton and we'll plant smoke leaf. And actually I probably should just focus on uh, smoke leaf. Do I need cotton? How much cotton do I have? I don't really have that much so you know what? I wouldn't mind having some cotton also. Cotton. We'll just go every other one. Smoke leaf. Cotton. There they are. Keep building, fellas. My happy little pawns. Smoke leaf. Is it snowing out there? Ah, I love the beautiful desert snow. So exciting. And this dromedary self-tamed. Is it a male dromedary? It sure is. Sorry, buddy. You're an adult male dromedary. You are going to get chopped up. I only need one adult male dromedary. I don't remember what we left off on, but we're going to... Oh, no, you know what? Why not do another heel root? That's not all going to be cotton and smoke leaf. It's just going to mostly be cotton and smoke leaf. We do have plenty of heel root, right? Hey, exotic goods trader. You know what? That reminds me. I need to call for an exotic goods trader from the assistants. Um, request trade caravan, please. Exotic goods trader. Okay. Disconnect. Our colony is doing fine, by the way. Thank you for asking. Let us get the rest of these built. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but they're not building... Hey, is that Lynx hunting? No, it's just moving. Okay. Oh, he's probably with the traders. Why did I not send somebody to trade with these traders? Cameron, is that you? Sure is. Alright, where's our trading friend? You. Um... Oh, I was going to say, why did everything stop? Maybe because I clicked the pause button? Smoke leaf. There we are, trading time. Ooh, warg, spooky. Um, neutromine. I just got some for free. Falling from the heavens. I don't need you to pay for it. Give me a break. Hmm. No glitter world medicine to sell me, huh? What kind of trader are you? I know you're an exotic goods trader. I I, I know how to read. I um, guess I don't have any stuff that I'm trying to sell you. I could use a bionic eye. Give that to. Oh, but Jack is a or Kevin is a prostophile. He's not going to want a bionic eye. So I don't know what I'm going to do about him. 
hmm, I'm not going to have enough money to buy all of these bionics that they have for sale. What am I going to do? Not buy a bionic? I mean, I guess. Kind of the answer. Yes is the answer. Um, I got a lot of uh, bad clothing to sell. I don't think I'm going to have enough to pay for those bionics, though. Um, do I have a thrombo horn? If I... Uh, have I chopped that guy up yet? Let's continue selling some clothing first, and then we'll take a look at that. Probably don't need all these clothes that I've got laying around here, considering if uh, I did need them, somebody would be wearing them. Um, I'm gonna sell that, I'll sell that one too. Oh, fancy normal rhino hide pants. I don't need that 59% shield. I definitely don't need those. Get rid of all of them. And an awful hat, no thanks. I'll hold on to a couple of toques, like for our naked friend. As a matter of fact, I haven't really looked to see what our naked friend is up to. Um, all right, well, I can afford two of three um, Bionics. I was thinking I might sell the dromedaries instead of butchering them. But that wouldn't really, that would give me another 400. It's not going to make enough of a difference to where I can uh, buy the bionic that I really want. I could not buy that Panoxy Cycline. You know what? That's going to get us pretty close if I do that and sell two male dromedaries. Wait a minute. Huh. Yeah, yeah, there's the adult dromedaries right there. You know what, I could sell both of them and then sell some um, Actually, I wanna keep one of them sell one of those and I guess sell some smoke leaf joints all right there we go and now I can buy all three bionics look at that Oof. all right um, so I do need to make sure that our naked friend Yang uh, he's gonna freeze with these clothings on so restrict uh, assign Yang nudist edit apparel. You need to wear a toque. That might be enough to keep you warm. Let's keep an eye on you for a minute while you go uh, go put that toque on. Hopefully, and then we will figure out surgery to. Uh, uh, why aren't you? Uh, Putting on the toque there, Yang. Changed your clothing assignment and everything. There we go. Now he's up to up to doing that. Removing his hat. Placing on the toque, and now he can stand up to minus two, which is fine. It's 14 degrees outside, so that is one heck of a hat. Um, these things need to be reconnected, so they will have. 24 hour a day power um, and so I've gotten a, an eye and two uh, two legs um, and who was it that uh, it wasn't Cameron so it must have been Chowns that has gotten the, uh, the bad eye and there's nothing I can do about it unfortunately because you're a prostophobe well that's too bad all right, who needs bionics more than anybody else? I don't think anybody needs, I don't think anybody needs a bionic leg, uh, but um, lots of people deserve bionic legs. Uh, so Lucky Strike only has one bionic so far. Oh, you deserve a bionic leg there because you have a prosthetic leg. Operation, add bill, bionic leg, left leg, great. 
and uh, we'll just uh, throw some other people with bionic legs on there. You already have one on your left, we'll give you one on the right. Uh, you've got a bunch of bionics. You've got three bionics. You've got three. Three, you've only got one. We'll give you the eye, and we'll give you a leg. And there we go. Oh shit, I gotta make sure that you get uh, the fancy medicine, and you get the fancy medicine. Now, did I already... So, I think I did one too many. You definitely get one. Alright, you do not get one. I need to cancel cancel you out, because that's one too many. I'll just suspend it, that's fine. And we'll reactivate it later on. All right, let's uh, keep an eye on our doctors. I am running a little low on Glitter World Medicine too. Like this will be the last of it. Uh, yeah, you know, we'll probably get some from the next trader and everything, so I'm not really worried. Now, Draconic Gross, why aren't you like doing that surgery? You're set to be a doctor, right? Yeah. Is somebody else already on the task? Need materials? Are, is everybody restricted? Uh, I wonder how long they're. Oh, probably from the. Uh, everybody was preparing for the raid or something like that. That would explain why we never picked up these. Uh, all these weapons and stuff out here. Some perfectly good, actually very good weapons laying out in the rain and snow. Another self-tamed dromedary? Wow. I could sell that one too. Cameron, what are you doing? Releasing, oh, oh okay. It's like, why, would, why do we need to release a rat? But that's because that rat is a man, baby. Get that rat released. All right, there we go. And let's uh, go sell our camel. Camel, was it camel nine or something? I guess it doesn't really matter. But you're gonna be the uh, responsibility of a, uh, of a trader now. Now, Lucky Strike, you're set to get surgery yourself. Why don't you, uh, why don't you get lined up for your surgery instead of, you know, like being a doctor? There we go. Cameron says, I hear you're interested in buying an old male dromedary. Well, guess what? I'm interested in selling him. And it's a good thing, too, because I've only got 300 gold and or silver and uh, we're gonna have another trader coming by real soon and they're gonna wonder why I called them all the way out here when I have nothing to sell and no money to buy anything he's probably not gonna be very happy with me for that actually he won't care because he's gonna get his 300 silver no matter what I'm the one who's gonna be unhappy because I called him all the way out here for nothing and then I'm gonna blame it on you the viewer yeah that's right you heard me All right, been a uh, pretty good, um, pretty good episode so far. Uh, everybody's feeling good. We got a bunch of new bionics. Um, we have uh, several new animals joined us, and then we're summarily either murdered or sold. Um, just a uh, good time overall. Jones is busy carrying all those corpses. Still lots of corpses laying out here in the snow uh, from that exciting raid that we had. It was so exciting. Now, why is nobody coming and flicking the switch on this? Did I not... Uh, I could have swore I told them to flick the switch on that, but I guess I didn't. There we go. Thank you. Let's start burning up some of those corpses that are making uh, everything ugly as everybody walks by there. 
Yep. Get rid of a bunch of negative mood modifiers. Looks like Sasha is in a pretty bad mood. What's what's uh, what's going on, Sasha? Oh, because your wife died. It's almost over with, really. Wow. It's pretty lucky. He was in a bad mood when we recruited him, and uh, he's definitely stayed uh, stayed. Uh, I don't think he's had one mental break or anything the whole time. So that's pretty great. Even though I've got him on corpse hauling duty. Uh, but, as I'm sure you heard, this episode has come to an end, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you had a good time. Uh, if you did, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And thank you very much for subscribing. I really do appreciate that. It makes me feel good every morning to see how many views I have. And then I go through and add all the information to my spreadsheet to see how many views I had last week and six or four weeks ago and two months ago and all that stuff. It's really cool. I love stats. Um, I will see you here again real soon with the next episode. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.